peace greetings <laughs> I am officially live with the reading of the year I'm so excited y'all to finally be here y'all just don't even understand <laughs> I have been saying every single day that I'm going to do this reading and for whatever reason January has just been crazy. I don't know. Maybe y'all can comment below and tell me how y'all's January 2021 uh, jumped off, how it got started. Uh, but January has just been special, <laughs> to say the least. So I was determined to do this reading before January ended, you know, um, and so I'm just thankful. I'm so thankful to be here, to be doing this reading, um, <clears throat> to be in the building. Uh, peace to everybody who's watching live, to everybody who's watching the replay, to everybody who's also watching this later on on YouTube, because I will be putting it up on YouTube as well so that people can easily find it every year. Peace to everybody who's logging on. Y'all just don't know, oh my gosh, to see y'all's hearts, how that makes me feel. Y'all, because I, I was, it took everything. Like I said, when I first started, I was like, I am doing this before January is over with. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just so thankful. I'm just so thankful. And, you know, if anything, if anything can help you all, um, what I'm learning 2021, I'm, I'm already jumping into it, y'all. What I'm learning is that 2021 is a year where how you've done it in the past is not necessarily how it's going to be done this year. And so I think even with me trying to get the reading of the year done in the first few days of January and it just didn't happen, was like Spirit's way of saying, um, honey child, that's not going to... Mm -mm. I'm showing you right now that 2021 is a year of thinking out of the box. Peace, peace, peace to everybody who's logging in, who's watching, who's commenting. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Um, but, you know, 2021 is just one of those years where how you've done it before is just not how it's going to be done uh, this year. So I'm going to quickly tell y'all what to expect in this video. Um, and then we're going to really dive down into it. Um, I am going to try to spend about 10 minutes on each segment that I have um, and then uh, and move on from there. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Tanya Poole. I am a life coach. I am a um, trainer. I am an astrologer. I am an oracle reader, a teacher. I do so, <laughs> so much. And um, every year I do these uh, was, you know, a, a reading of the year, which is is not uncommon. A lot of people do a reading of the year. A lot of astrologers do it, oracle readers, people in different various traditions do a reading of the year. And it's just basically an outlook of what to expect in the upcoming year. Um, last year, um, <laughs> I did a reading of the year on January 5th. I remember it's because it's still up on YouTube. You can go back and watch it. And I was like, y'all, 2020 going to be like, you know, get get your discipline and structure. And I don't know what's coming, but something is coming. And I, again, that was January of 2020. Who knew what 2020 was actually going to look like? So I'm learning to just go with the flow. Um, I was thinking that this year's reading would kind of flow the same way. And obviously it's not because <laughs> it's coming on January 31st. But it is what it is. So a reading of the year basically is just an outlook of the upcoming year. Obviously, and I always state this, you have control over your own life, over your own destiny. A reading of the year is not something to uh, make you afraid or fearful of what's to come, but it's actually to help you to prepare. It's to put you in the power seat. If you have, um, I don't know what y'all's January has been like, but mine has been woo, 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 kind of a little bit on the crazy side. Um, and so if your January has been a little bit, almost like you can't catch your breath, almost like you can't keep up. I feel like that's how a lot of 2021 is going to flow. So it's up to us to be able to learn how to manage that in a healthy way. So 
I have three main parts to this reading of the year. Two of them are where I'm going to talk about the vision. Uh, well, the first one is how I'm going to talk about the vision. The second one is how to prepare for it. And then the third section is um, I will be pulling just a few cards, maybe only three cards, and then I will close out. Um, I feel like this is going to be very swift <laughs> because that's the energy of this of this particular year. Um, real quickly, though, uh, let me see if I can put this in the chat since I'm doing this live. Sorry for everybody who's watching a replay later. But I do have a very special if you want your own. Um, why do I go through this every single time trying to comment? OK, here we go. If you want your own reading of the year, your own like personal little reading of the year, I am doing a special for only $21 where I will pull a few cards for you and I will record an audio of that and send it to you via email. So that is for a very limited time. I'm thinking maybe seven to 10 days from now um, is when it will end. So if you want that, let me put the link right here in the live. Get your personal 2021 reading and let me put that link here one second thank you for your patience <laughs> boom all right so that is it and I'm going to pin it down there. Boom. So if you want your own personal uh, reading, again, I will just pull a few cards for you to help you to know what you need to know, do, and be aware of for 2021. And then I will record an audio of that and send it to you to your email for only $21. Very limited time. I should have put the price on there. Gosh, why I be doing? All right, y'all. I got to fix that. <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> Get your <laughs> only 21. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm about to get started. Boom. There we go. Pen. All right. So that is it. Um, so that is pretty much who I am. I am a, a coach. I do have coaching clients who uh, work with me just on, you know, life issues. It doesn't, not necessarily anything astrological or, um, or dealing with the Oracle, but just on, you know, how to, you know, improve their lives. So I do do that as well for those of you who just want to know a little bit more what I do. And I am the author of The Magic of Self-Love, which you can purchase on Amazon. And that book is also available at the link that you see down below all right so everybody just breathe we are coming out of 2020 which was already crazy okay <laughs> and that's probably an understatement thank you thank you um and so 2021 as I was, the reason why I normally don't do uh, my reading of the year until at least like the first few days of the new year is because I personally want to feel what the year feels like to me. Um, I do follow a lot of astrologers, um, other uh, readers and, and things who may do it a few weeks leading into the year and because they're looking at you know the astrology of the year which is fine i have my calendar to tell me everything that's going to be going on this whole 2021 like every mercury retrograde which we're in one right now um every everything right so um but i also like to feel what the year is saying to me i also like to just kind of sense you know what it is that um i'm feeling and again when i did the reading of the year last year um, I remember setting up the camera and everything and thinking, oh, this is going to be a great reading. Everything's going to be lovely. And then as soon as I hit start, it was like, oh no, 2020 is about to be a little crazy. <laughs> so, um, I like to feel what the year feels like. And so, um, one of the things that came to me very, very early on at the beginning of this year was one word, simplify, 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 simplify. I was like simplify like why why do I keep 
you know, kind of hearing that in my, in my spirit, kind of feeling that, you know, simplify, simplification, sim simple, you know, and what has come to me now 31 days into the year is this is a year for us to really, um, to simplify our lives. Why? Because this year, this year is a year of vision, right? And there is a very popular scripture in the Bible that says, you know, write the vision and make it plain. Write the vision and make it plain. Like, don't make it complicated. Don't overcomplicate your vision. Make it real super simple and make it plain, right? And I know a lot of times when we talk about the new year, we talk about our vision. Even last year, a lot of people were like, oh, 2020 vision, right? <laughs> I really think it's 2021 is the year of the, of the vision. Um, and so what was coming to me is simplify that this is a year to cut out as many distractions as possible. Because when you have a vision, when you have a desire, when you have goals for your life, you have to be very, very clear. I don't need, I was getting ready to say very, very focused, but that's not really what I'm feeling in this moment. What I'm feeling is you have to be very, very clear about your vision. Not necessarily like, you know, we always talk about being laser focused and focusing in and all that kind of stuff. But what I'm, I'm genuinely feeling in this moment is that it's more about clarity. Because if you're not clear, this is a year where you will be very, very confused. Very, very confused about what to do, where to go, who to talk to, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Why? Because what I'm feeling, what I'm sensing is that, oh, and y'all, y'all know I got on some copper vibrations. Shout out to copper vibrations. <laughs> if you're not familiar with them, I know this is silver. They do a lot of wrapping in copper, but they do some wrapping in um, sterling silver and silver fill. And so this is a labradorite uh, gemstone. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Wrapped in silver. So, anywho, um, simplify. <laughs> <laughs> the vision. This will be a year where if you are not clear on your vision, you will be very, very confused. Why? Because this year in astrology terms has a lot of Aquarius energy. And I kind of hate it. Not hate it. I cancel, cancel that. I don't hate it. <laughs> I love all signs and I have a lot of Aquarius friends. So it's not anything against Aquarius, but as a Virgo, you know, we like to be grounded and we like to kind of know things that are coming. But Aquarius energy is um, kind of all over the place. And so I say I kind of hate it because it's hard for me to plan anything, right? And I don't know if you all are feeling that this year. It's like you'll, you'll uh, say I'm going to do something this week and... It, by the end of the week, you look and you realize, I didn't do none of the stuff I said I was going to do. I did everything but that, right? Being all over the place. And um, and I think that was one of the reasons that took me so long to even film this video because I'm all over the place. My mind is here, there, everywhere. I have ideas about this, ideas about that, you know, things I want to do. Um, and you might even find that this is one of those years where you will say, Okay, I'm definitely going to do X, Y, and Z tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and somebody presents you with a new idea, a new uh, something to do, and you can get off track, right? So this is going to be one of those years, I feel, where um, sticking to your calendar may be a bit of a challenge because Aquarius is, even though we're in Aquarius um season as I'm filming this and I know that there will be many people watching this later on in the year but not only are we in Aquarius season right now and even as I'm talking right now I feel like I'm all over the place so I hope y'all are keeping up <laughs> um, but even though we are in Aquarius season right now Aquarius is going to be a very dominant sign this year a lot of planets are going to be in the sign of Aquarius and Aquarius is the sign of the rebel Aquarius is the sign of the visionary. Aquarius is the sign of, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Erraticness? Erraticness? <laughs> Inconsistency, right? And so we will find, no matter what your sun sign is, because we are all 
going to be kind of under this influence this entire year is uh we you will feel this kind of inconsistency you'll feel this will be a year where you have many ideas many things you want to do um and this kind of restless energy um that is really one of the components of aquarian uh energy aquarius energy um is kind of a restlessness a, a um a rebelliousness you know a, a an urge to go against the grain and that's why um this year if you're trying to do things according to a set blueprint um that might not be as effective like you can do some of it by the blueprint but not everything right because aquarius is the sign that goes against the grain it goes goes against the blueprint it's a rule breaker um whenever i talk about the sign of Aquarius and again I'm talking about it because no matter what your sun sign is again I'm a sun sign Virgo but this most of this year will have a lot of planets going through the sign of Aquarius so we'll all be feeling this energy and it'll be kind of hard for us to to keep up Aquarius energy is kind of is is future thinking Aquarius energy is very um in the future it's forward thinking so it's kind of hard to keep up if you're going to try to hold on to your old ways right so this is a year where holding on to your old ways and the old ways of always doing things may not work if it works when it works then let it work but if it don't work then don't don't try to hold on to it right so um whenever i talk about aquarius it reminds me of the uh the invention of like the iphone and and smartphones in general you know prior to the iphone uh if somebody said you have a phone with a touch screen you can touch and then you can video chat and all that kind of stuff you would have been like okay that's very jetsons like of you that's very uh star trekky or something right but um when we think about like steve jobs or we think about other pioneers in um technology and and, and what we what we know what is commonplace today when we think about those pioneers they had to be very future thinking. They could not go about creating this new thing in an old way. And there was actually a point in time when a lot of them were uh, criticized. A lot of them were, um, cause the world was like, what are you talking about? Like, this is something new. Like, what are you talking about? Right? So th it, it's a challenge to visualize something new when everybody else wants to do things the old way. And so that is what this year is about. If you are um, someone who is trying to, um, let's just say, start a business, right? And up until 2020, everybody said, this is what you got to do to start a business. And you got to do this and you got to do this and you got to have this and have this. Some of that may work, yes, because there are some principles that will always work. But some of it won't because it's this is the year of thinking outside of the box. This is a year of thinking long term because we will all be feeling this. Um, we're all kind of under the influence, if you will, of this strong Aquarius energy. This like, look, OK, stop trying to do things the way it's always been done. You got to in order to get to the outcomes that you want, in order to have the goals manifest in your life that you want, you're going to have to think outside of the box. And there's going to be some discomfort with that. There's going to be some um, shaky ground with that, right? There's going to be some unsettledness with that. And I think that's what a lot of us are already feeling um, this month in January, this feeling of like, and it's, it's, it's bigger than just the COVID. You know, a lot of people think it's just COVID and they're ready to get out and they're tired of being held down. But what I feel is that overall in general, we are all entering into a space where we're just tired of doing things the old way, of doing things the way people said we had to do it in exactly the same format and exactly the same, you know. Yes, there is something to, um, like if I want to bake a cake, yes. And shout out to Brandy because I saw her on here baking them cakes. <laughs> but um, yeah, there is something to following a blueprint and a recipe. But if you're trying to do something that you've never done, if you're trying to have something that you've never had, if you have a vision for something that doesn't even yet exist, then there's some things that you're going to have to do that's kind of outside of the box. And what I feel 
Um, even when I look at my own life and I look at how long it took me to get to this reading of the year, then I know that even when we try to do things the way we should do them and the way that, you know, is the blueprint to do them will kind of be like rerouted, you know, <laughs> like no matter how hard we try to do things the old way, we'll be kind of forced to come outside of our comfort zone. That's what I, if I had to sum it up, that 2021, you know, everybody talks about greatness, wanting their greatness, wanting to, I want to be great. I want to, you know, uh, have these wonderful experiences, you know, create, do these big things in my life, right? Okay. But that's going to, that's going to challenge you to have to come out of your comfort zone, right? So, why I said that this year, not only, not, we won't necessarily, I don't want to say that we'll have to be focused, but we'll have to be clear. Being clear is going to be very important because with all of the good qualities of Aquarius energy, when it's, when it's in the seat of power, as apparently we going through, right? You know, the thing about Aquarius energy is that it's going to bring you ideas, it's going to bring you ideas. You're going to have ideas all year long about, oh, I could do this. I could do this. I could go here. I could travel there. I could experience this. I could date this person. I could date that person. I could start this business, but I could also start this business. I could do, you know, you're going to have a ton of ideas. But if you're not clear on the vision for your life and the purpose of your life and what you're really, how you, how your life is going to impact humanity, because Aquarius is the sign of the humanitarian also like it's the sign of when big changes happen with with humanity so if you're not clear on how your life can bring about positive change or can influence humanity then you're going to be going here 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 and it's going to be hard for you to keep up even with your own self again uh i don't know if my email is attached to this link that's down below but i um outside of even astrology and all of that i am a uh, certified life coach. I do do coaching and training. Um, and so if you just need help with that, you can definitely reach out to me um, in terms of that. I, I need to make sure my email or you can message me and we can talk about that. Um, but uh, because I do have a lot of clients who, you know, are navigating the waters of their life while still trying to live their purpose, right? And so that is what this year will be about. A lot of us may ask ourselves, but how is what I'm doing helping humanity? How am I making a difference? How am I, how am I being an influence? How am I being a change agent? How am I, um, am I even living my purpose? You know what I'm saying? What is the meaning of my life, right? And so when you're hit with all of these ideas, you might find yourself uh, being like the dog who's chasing his tail, going here, there, everywhere, and not feeling like you're advancing, right? And so this year, 2021, is challenging us to be very, very clear about where we're going. Why? Because along this journey, we will be hit with many, many ideas. Now, some of those ideas may be helpful. You know, I'm not telling you to be inflexible. You know, if it's going to line up with your personal vision, if it's going to line up with your purpose in life, then definitely be flexible, be open. This is a year Aquarius energy because it's ruling this year. Aquarius energy is all about being open, not being, not stifling yourself, not limiting yourself, not putting yourself in a box. But at the same time, if it's going to hinder your greater vision and your greater purpose, then you need to know what to say no to and what to say yes to in 2020. Um, because uh, it's, it's just going to be so important because I feel very strongly that so many of us are going to have so many opportunities coming to us. And we're, you know, if you're not clear, it can actually create a bit of anxiety, which brings me to my the second portion of this reading of the year one of the things that came to me outside of simplify or in addition to simplify is that this year may be the year where we do see a lot more um mental health concerns mental health issues um anxiety depression yes um and all of that, but definitely anxiety, 
definitely anxiety. Why? Because the energy is going to be so high this year. The energy is so high and there's so many opportunities and there's so many options and there's so many ideas coming to our mind that if we don't have um, a healthy mental health regimen this year, then what was meant for our good, which is new ideas and new ways of doing things and st coming outside of the box and, you know, um, really, um, really doing something brand new. The thing that was meant for our good could then turn into something that is detrimental to us because we can't handle the amount of information and ideas and things that are coming to us 2021 is definitely going to be one of those years where your mind body spirit and soul all need to be um it's where it's going to be paramount to take care of your mind body and spirit um this entire year your mental health is going to be very very important um aquarius and again i'm talking a lot about aquarius yes because um as I was looking at the astrology of all of 2021, all everywhere, all of the planets are going this year. It is a lot of energy happening in the sign of Aquarius. So no matter what your sun sign is, we're all going to be feeling that energy. And I almost even now feel like I'm talking very fast and I'm really just throwing a lot of information at you. I know that that is a part of that influence um, because Aquarius energy is going to be flooding us with ideas flooding us with opportunities flooding us with options you know um and if we're not careful hmm and now i'm just gonna say this there is a strong movement right now and uh <laughs> i hope i'm not the pot calling the kettle black but there is a strong movement right now towards all things metaphysical right <laughs> All things spiritual and otherworldly. And um, what I feel is that this year may be a year where a lot of people start opening themselves up to a lot of things that they're not ready for. So this might be a year where you're reading more about metaphysical things and spiritual things and how to meditate and open your mind and do all these kind of things. And those things within and of themselves are good. And we need more of that. But what I'm feeling, y'all stay with me here on this vision that I'm seeing right now. It's like, have you ever like read about how the people in NASA and uh, you know other programs like that have to prepare to go to space like they don't just say hey i want to be an astronaut and then just go up into space right they have to really train for years and years and years to prepare their mind and body for that experience because to launch a human body up into space and have to deal with anti-gravity and to um you know um to be spinning all around. I saw one of those machines where it's like they're spinning all around, just preparing themselves for for the what it feels like to be launched into space. And then the, the isolation of being out there. There's a lot of mental health training and physical training that has to take place in order to prepare them for the difficulties of being launched into space. Like your body can't handle that. Your body has to prepare for it. Your mind has to prepare for it. And I feel like 2021 and even in the years to come, there is going to be a lot of preparation. So you may find that this is a year where you're being inundated with a lot of information. You might find it interesting. You want to learn about this and that and get, um, uh, study this and that and open your mind up to this and you know meditate on that and all, all it's, a, it's going to be I'm telling you <laughs> hear me and hear me good that this is going to be one of those years where your curiosity for all things spiritual and metaphysical is going to go up but if you're not preparing your mind and your body and your spirit to handle that massive ascension into greater awareness, then it can cause s mental health issues and anxiety. Because how can I put this? It it's the same reason why you don't tell a child 
about sex too early, you know, or a child who is inundated with a lot of sexual information too earlier than they can maturely handle, then it can become detrimental. Um, what I feel is that, mm, what I feel is that many people may have where they're really opening themselves up to a lot of things. And again, those things in and of themselves are not bad. I'm not telling you not, not to meditate or, you know, to, to have oracle readings, which I'm about to do at the end of this. You know, I'm not telling you that at all again, um, you know, because these are tools that even I use. What I'm saying is if you're not prepared and if you are not doing the things necessary to keep your mind sane and grounded during this heavily heavy influx of energy that's coming in then you can find yourself all over the place and nowhere at the same time you know this might be the year where we see a lot of people who think that they're really really deep and really really doing some things and really they're not you know so we want to be very very mindful um of maintaining our mental health if you study something new especially if it's on the spiritual or metaphysical side study it and then spend some time grounding yourself like balance you know you have to find balance balance is going to be very very key because the energy is going to be so high it's almost going to be difficult to even keep up with your own self with your own thoughts with you you might find that your thoughts this year move so fast or that you can think a thing and it manifests very, very fast. Like, dang, I was just thinking about that two days ago and here it is. It showed up and I wasn't even asking for it. I was just thinking it just crossed my mind, right? So you might find that this is one of those years where even your thoughts manifest very, very quickly. Hence of why it's going to be very important to also have solid and trustworthy mental health tools in your bucket again i am a life coach and i do personally also have a contract with a licensed therapist where she um, does a lot of the therapeutic work and i uh do a lot of the coaching work with some of her clients and so if that's something that you're interested in um okay it said i had a weak connection y'all i hope y'all can see hear me but um this is going to be one of those years where it's going to be very very important to maintain your um your mental health um also our physical health is going to be very very important now i know you think oh, it's always important to take care of your body but this year because our minds are going to be uh, moving more rapidly, we're going to have more ideas, we're going to be learning more, we're going to experience more, we're going to be, you know, wanting to grow and expand. I, I feel like this is one of those years where our minds are literally going to be moving faster than our bodies, right? Then faster than how we can keep up with ourselves. So likewise, it's going to be very necessary that we maintain our physical health and wellness. Um, one of the things that was coming to me earlier this year, like the first week of January, and how things come to me a lot of times is it will come to me on a personal note and then I'll realize, oh, this isn't just for me, this is for everybody as well. <laughs> But if you are, have have uh, been someone who has gained a quarantine 15, you know, gained a few extra pounds over this past year, um, this is one of those uh, years where you're going to want to start to work that out and work that off. Um, one of the things that was coming to me was between January, February, and by like early March. I don't know what's coming after March. I don't know why I feel very strongly that, you know, January, February, and, and most of March is going to be a time where we need to um, get in the most optimal health space as possible. Um Hopefully it's not because it's something that we have to endure, but um, I was feeling very strongly about the month of March. Um, well, be, the, us getting it together now through March, whether it's just you drinking more water, what's coming to me right now is, is vitamin C, also orange juice. Uh, it's like I saw a cup of orange juice, um, but whatever it is, taking your vitamins is going to be very, very um, important. And I know this may sound simple to those of you watching because it might be like, oh yeah, you're supposed to take your, you're supposed to take your vitamins and it's still Corona time. So yeah, you're supposed to stay healthy and take your vitamins. But again, the word of this year is simplify, right? So the thing that you, if you're waiting for something super deep, <laughs> you're going to miss it. 
right? This is the year of simplification. So really getting yourself healthy, as healthy as possible, particularly in this first quarter of the year is going to be very, very important. Um, normally when I do the reading of the year, I don't listen to other people first. Like I go ahead and do my reading of the year. And then I have some other people that um, I have come to trust over the years to go back and kind of listen to what it, what is their outlook for the year. But because I got started so late this year, um, one of the people that I listen to um, or whose reading of the year that I that I really appreciate is Iya Wofa Iyala Risa Efun Lele. And she has a website called Got to Be Oshun. But I listened to her reading of the year. She did hers on January 1st on her Facebook page. And she actually said what I was feeling that um, this first quarter of the year, I want to say she even mentioned um, from now until the spring equinox on March 21st is going to be a a time of where we have to really 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 get our mental and physical health in order and to begin to purge our systems of the overindulgence of sugar and um and i think she even mentioned the overindulgence of uh, social media and stuff like that um and so this will be definitely this is definitely the time that's what i was already feeling within myself so that was confirmation for me um we want to make sure that we're doing this. And if you're watching this after that timeline, you know, then it's never too late to go ahead and get on board. But for some reason, I'm just feeling that it's very important that we, um, what I'm feeling is almost like refortifying ourselves, um, re building ourselves back up because we've been through a lot and also to be able to, uh, endure the rest of 2021 we have to make sure that our bodies are healthy and can maintain that and when i say enduring the rest of 2021 i i mean also because our minds will be in overdrive overdrive we'll be getting a lot of information we'll be getting a lot of ideas we'll have a lot of goals we're trying to pursue i think this is going to be a really kind of successful year for being creative and thinking outside of the box and going for dreams that you didn't even think were possible for you and so you your mind and your body have to be able to handle that have to be ready you know it's nothing worse than watching somebody who who got the life of their dreams but were too sick or out of their mind to even enjoy it right <laughs> so you want to be able to enjoy the things that you are desiring for yourself um yes so this year is going to the the energy of this year is i, I just cannot overstate this y'all um and you might have already begun to feel this is going to be so high and so rapid again I, the thoughts the thoughts that we think about two three four times we'll see them kind of manifest very very quickly um i feel like this is going to be your oppor good opportunities are going to come to you and you just want to be in the right mind and the right uh physical health to be able to to uh really take advantage of those opportunities but definitely um you know, keep your mind at peace. This is not the year because because we're going to be inundated with so much Aquarius energy, so many ideas, so many, you know, um, ideas about the future and what we want for our lives and thinking outside the box and doing new things because we're going to be experiencing that on such a high level. This is also not the year to have too much going on. Like you really need to um, put on your schedule quiet time. You know when your tv is off when you're not scrolling on social media because if you're if you don't i feel like this is the year where finding that balance between being you know receiving a lot of information and then quiet time is going to be imperative because there will be the energy is going to be high regardless you know so you have to be the one to say okay that's enough all right, let me simplify. Let me turn that TV off. Let me be quiet. Um, this is the year where you may not want to hear. I know y'all listening to me right now, but you may not want to 
just overindulge in other people's opinions all the time, right? What is spirit sp saying to you? Because if not, you have this person speaking in your ear and this person speaking in your ear and your mom speaking in your ear and your grandma and your auntie and them and your cousin and them and your dad and them and then that YouTube influencer and that I Instagram person that you're watching and this, you know, and then it's going to what clouds your vision. And this is a year of clarity. This is a year of being clear. It's going to be a lot going on around you and you have to be clear about what you're going to receive and what you're not going to allow in. So with that being said, let me go ahead and pull these cards. Y'all, my reading of the year in 2020 was like two hours long. Lord. That's how I know I'm in I'm feeling all this high Aquarius energy. Cause I'm already like, all right, I'm done. I'm on to the I'm on to the next thing. I gotta go live my life. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pull um three cards and i'm going to share when i um put this up on youtube i'll probably put in the comment section there what what decks i'm using for those of you who are interested but i'm going to pull hmm, all right i'm actually gonna pull five cards <laughs> three from one deck and then one from two other decks on um, what we most need to know do and be aware of in 2021. What additional wisdom and guidance is there that we need this year? Thank you for your patience while I pull these cards. What do we most need to know? Hmm. Hmm. What do we most need to know? Do and be aware of. So then let me, I'm going to go ahead and pull all the cards. Um, this deck that I'm shuffling in now deals with, uh, oh, thank you, Monier Essence. Yes, I gave everyone, I gave people a shout out on Copper Vibrations and where they can get their very own Labradorite necklace. <laughs> Peace. All right, so let me pull a card for what is the obstacle that we're experiencing this year? What is the challenge? Thank you. And y'all, I have up on my YouTube channel and also on this page, if you scroll back, because uh, we just entered into Mercury Retrograde. Um, and so how to survive this Mercury Retrograde for the next few weeks. And then the last card that I'm pulling is just an affirmation card to keep us encouraged through 2021. What encouragement do we need this year? Thank you. Mm. Boom. All right. <laughs> All right. So here we go. So the first three cards that came out, the sun, the seven of cups, and the eight of cups. This really ties into what I've already was saying. So as you, if you reflect back, I was asking, you know, what wisdom and guidance, what do we most need to know, do and be aware of this 2020? The sun is hope right the sun is life is vitality is energy oh my gosh i feel that it's energy is vitality is hope it's fun it's letting is letting your light shine wow that's so interesting that this came out because the same uh reading of the year that i mentioned earlier that i listened to um from um the sister yellow risa she talked about this is the year of letting your light shine so if you've been living in the shadow you know, and, and with us coming out of this COVID time, we've all been living in a shadow. <laughs> this is going to be the year to let your light shine. But you can only let your light shine when you're clear. What did I tell y'all? This is going to be a year of clarity and simplification when you're clear. The Seven of Cups is a card of when this card appears, it means you're not clear. It's like, oh, I want to drink from that cup, but I want to drink from that cup, but I want to drink from that cup, but I think I want to drink from that cup. That one seemed nice, and ooh, what about that? Ooh, what about that, right? So this is the year about fine, like really choosing. And let me say this. If you are afraid of making a choice, 
just because you make a choice right now and again with this Aquarius energy yes we got to be clear but it doesn't mean that we're inflexible so you're going to be clear about the overall big picture and purpose that you have for your life but it doesn't mean that you're inflexible to other options if they serve your purpose so if they serve your purpose then it's okay to make a different choice it's okay to add some you know what i'm saying look the way i'm picturing it's like when you're cooking you ever been cooking and you're like okay this is what i'm tasting what it's gonna be like and then you look in your spice cabinet you're like oh i didn't know i had some paprika in here and you add a little paprika you know what i'm saying but the the dish itself is still the same <laughs> But you're just adding a little extra seasoning, right? So this is going to be the year where, yes, you, you're, you're gaining clarity. And clarity is very important. But I'm not telling you not to be inflexible. As long as when you become more flexible and you add a little bit and you, you, know, you be a little flexible, that as long as it's serving your greater purpose and mission, then that's fine. But this right here says we, we got to let go. We got to walk away. And the Eight of Cups also is walking away from no, what no longer serves us, what no longer fulfills us emotionally. If we want this joy of the sun and walking and shining in our purpose, we have to be willing to make a choice. Be clear. Stop trying to be all over the place. Stop trying to do everything. You know what I'm saying? And, and to walk away when you make a choice, that also means walking walking away from what no longer serves you right and again that doesn't mean that you you know you have to say no to everything if something good comes along that's going to serve your long-term vision and your purpose then definitely add that to the flavor you know what i'm saying but you got to know what what dish you making though <laughs> you got to know what dish you making the obstacle or the challenge that is residing in our collective um shadow selves right now um is revealed through this card here it's called knowing and it says he who collects the most knowledge wins the war and <clears throat> excuse me let me read what that says so that we can have a deeper um understanding of that one second okay here we go knowing he who collects the most knowledge wins the war the shadow element in this is to use to use knowledge as a means to invalidate emotion or manifest as a barrier to mask personality flaws knowledge is power but what happens when that power is used as an injury to personality common human error or emotion of course we all we are all students of life and the process of learning is never complete however to use this is to use this as a means to invalidate the struggles we face emotionally is not only unfair to ourselves but it is unfair to others in life, we will all hear the argument that logic supersedes emotion and intuition by many who feel human actions can be quantified by mathematical or simplistic cause and effect reasoning. It can be used as a farce to appear stronger than one really is because they are not burdened by the frivolous nature of feeling. This card indicates that one is expressing pen pedantic behavior to belittle demean or outright outright nullify nature natural human emotion to appear intellectually superior to emotion it is oftentimes used as a means to win interpersonal <clears throat> disagreements or to show emotional intelligence when it is not take a moment to analyze if at any time you or someone have revoked an emotional response to something joyful or saddening by inserting logic as a means to invalidate the feeling as nothing more than face value. Why does the notion of having emotions trouble you or them? Wow. So this is going to be a year where, oh, and I already said this, that we're going to be hit. You may feel like this is a, a year where you're hit with a lot of information and knowledge and you're going to be learning a lot of stuff and people going to be teaching you stuff and teach all this kind of stuff, right? And... If we're not careful, it can disconnect us from our emotional selves. You know, you ever hear the saying, you're too smart for your own good? 
you know, and we live in a society and a world that really, really validates being intellectually uh, sound or using your intellect and your reasoning, right? And what happens is when we don't find balance with that, then we separate ourselves from our emotional state. This card here is saying that the challenge or the shadow part of ourselves this year is going to be to rely too heavily on our knowledge and what we know in the intellectual side of our brains and not trusting the emotional side. I often tell my own clients that there's a difference between um, your emotions and your intuition. Yes, there is a part of emotion that is just fleeting like oh this is what i'm feeling right now so that you know if i'm feeling angry i'm just gonna go off on everybody then in a, five minutes later when i'm happy i'm gonna be happy about everything right but at the same time we can feel things intuitively that does that don't make sense with our um intellect and our logic and because we live in a world that is pro intellect and logic we can ignore our intuition and our and our feelings right if if you don't like something or something bothers you or something hurts you emotionally you you need to address it everything cannot be addressed with intellect and knowledge if sometime this year again this is a reading of the year so you might not be feeling right now, but you might be feeling later on. You know, if, if some point this year you are giving too much credit to your intellect and your logic and your reasoning self and discrediting emotions or or you do that to other people where it's like, oh, you just being too emotional. You just need to, you know, be logical and just th see things from a logical standpoint. That's going to be a hindrance that is going to be part of the shadow self of this year. Um, again, because Aquarius is kind of dominating <laughs> this year, not just because I mean, you know, we're in Aquarius season when I'm recording this, but in general, a lot of planets will be going through Aquarius this year. Um, so um, Aquarius is, if you look at the symbol for Aquarius, it's the water bearer right so aquarius is an air sign which definitely deals with logic and reasoning reasoning and using your mind but with it being a water bearer the the water bearer um if you look at it, it's like a man the symbol for is like a man he's pouring water over his shoulder and pouring it kind of on the sign of pisces where the fish are um that means that it's all. it also has the capacity to hold emotion, to hold feeling. So if you're trusting too much in your logic and your reason, uh, reasoning capacity, but you're not um, giving space and legitimacy, if you're not giving legitimacy to feeling and emotion, that could also be something that creates that anxiety this year that I talked about because you're so in your head that you be, you forget what what it's like to actually feel and to process your emotions. Um, and then the affirmation uh, that came out for this year is, I am a great listener. I am a great listener. Um, again, this year, we will all be inundated with ideas and our minds will be like, I feel like I, your own mind will just be so fantastic this year. Like you'll have so many wonderful ideas and concepts and things you want to do. Like it's going to be coming so fast. Um, but it is important to also know that to, to be a great listener to people who can actually feed your spirit and your soul this year. Um, and there's a difference between listening and hearing. You're going to be hearing a lot. We are going to be hearing a lot this year. It's going to be a lot on the news. It's going to be a lot. You know, one person is going to say this, one person is going to say that. You know, it kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, how like there's a new medicine that comes out and they're like, oh, this medicine helps with this, that, and the other. Everybody needs to take this, right? And then at the same time, it's another expert saying, oh, don't take that because it's not good for, you know. <laughs> I think we'll see a lot of that in general this year with a lot, you know, not just in terms of medicine, but just on a lot of different topics this year. Um, so you have to be able to, um, to really listen through the noise, to really be able to listen through the noise, take what you need and, and discard what you don't need this year. And listening again is different from just hearing. I'm a great listener means that you really listening makes me feel like like you're hearing with your heart, not just with your ears and not just with your intellect, you know. You're really listening to what's not even being said. 
you know, you're here. It, it, listening kind of ties into intuition for me. Um, but even, you know, if you don't want to use it on, in, on an intuitive level, um, to say I'm a great listener, this is going to be one of those years where we're going to have to really hear, you know. We're going to have to not just be open to every idea that's just hitting us, you know, and taking it all in, but really listening to the heart of what is being said. And to be a great, people who are great listeners go far. I think that's going to be the key. I think that's going to be the thing that brings us here to this joyous, happy space is being a great listener. Because there's going to be so many ideas coming to us that when you're a great listener, you'll hear and you'll know what is best for you, what direction is best for you. So that is it for the reading of the year 2021. Uh, I thank you all for watching. I thank you all for commenting below, letting me know um, how this reading is impacting you. And not just now in January and February, but I would like for you all to come back in August, September, November, you know, listen to this again and see how is, you know, how is it adding up for your, for your life? Make sure that you click the link um, uh, below for your own 2020 uh, reading of the year. Uh, that's something I do um, on an audio recording. You get that for only $21. Now, that is a limited time. So if you're watching this later on in 2021, like in August, that's over. <laughs> Sorry, but... <laughs> hey sis you just got here <laughs> you can watch the recording <laughs> but um but yes <laughs> i'm gonna start over for you just for you um but yes yeah, so you get your uh, for only 21 dollars for the next I'm going to say 10 days for the next, I'm going to go till February 10th, 2021. You can get an audio recording, personal reading of the year from me for only $21. You click that link, you pay for it. I shuffle or pull cards for you and I send it back to you. But that is it for this year's, for 2021 reading of the year. This has been good. This is fantastic, y'all. This is fantastic. Up This year, maintain your spiritual health, your mental health, your, your body health for the next three months. Definitely, it's going to be very, very important to get your mind and your body um, as healthy as possible. Take your vitamins. Um, get re, re, refuel, re-energize your, yourself and your cells in order for you to go far again, because we're under all this Aquarius energy and Aquarius is very future thinking and very far in the future thinking for you to have the future that you want. You got to take care of yourself right now in the present. Okay. So, um, Mm, I say I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Have an amazing 2021. And thank you so much for watching. And until we speak again, as always, I'm wishing you so much peace and love.